Oh boy, is it a sad day here on the Plug In Tut channel. We say goodbye to our full week coverage of the 2020 and WordPress 5.3 release, and I'm here to share my thoughts on the 2020 theme after doing a whole series of videos. Now, if you've missed it, I did the overview, I did the, uh, the, the preview of it, then I did the overview of it, then I did Will It Woo, and then I did Can It Be Styled, right? Long form pieces of content uh, on the 2020 theme. Then I did page builders and contact forms and tested those against 2020 and then wrapped it up with a, sh a short 30 minute video of using 2020 as a creative agency. So if you're a freelancer or a consultant and you're thinking about redoing your own website to attract customers and get leads and just present your portfolio, I showed you how to do that with 2020 with just a handful of plugins. And it's that video, I think it's that demonstration of 2020 that really shows off the power of well, good design paired up with Gutenberg. And of course, Gutenberg has had a year plus now uh, of in the wild testing. People have been getting their hands on it. I'm seeing a lot more people sort of enjoying the experience. There are still some people that are holding off because, well, they're still not happy with how it rolled out, which is totally understandable. And then some people just aren't happy with the technology wrapped around it. They don't want to invest time in peeling back that layer to make their sites custom. And they're using things like page builders or just custom bespoke design and development and that's totally well it's totally cool that's how the WordPress and open source experience should work you're using this as a tool to build a solution that's going to either solve your problem or your customers problem now where I see the challenges coming with 2020 before I give it my final stamp of approval if I do stick around through the whole video if that's the case is as a new user and this has been the impetus behind all of these uh, videos so far is if you're a new user and somebody says, hey, you gotta go use this WordPress thing to build your website or to sell your product, or you're looking at it saying, hey, everybody's talking about these page builders and how much easier it is these days to do that with WordPress, 2020 still isn't there. And that is just the one thing that I was just slightly disappointed in uh, when I started the, the overview video of 2020, when it was finally released uh, in the last few remaining hours, I pulled it down from uh, GitHub and I really dove into a lot of the nitty gritty behind the theme. And if you're just somebody starting out with WordPress, it's just not gonna solve all of the solutions out there. So I would wanna really see, and I'm sure WordPress at large wants to see, a theme that is, well, like an Astra like a generate press, or if you're in a page builder world, uh, you're using the Beaver Builder themer uh, theme, or if you're in the Elementor world, I believe it's called Hello, I believe that's what the name of the theme is, you're using this as a canvas to build any kind of website. And I know that's a far-fetched fantasy because even with an Astra and a generate press and with these blank canvases, you can't always build exactly what you need or you need to be a developer or designer to get it done, but, it should at least work with very core principles of building a website online. For years now, core development, or I should say the themes that are in core WordPress that are be, being delivered with that experience are very much for the publisher, the blogger, you know, the long form writer, and, and that's always been sort of the safety net that most people refer to as WordPress. But sadly, we have been building WordPress, not sadly, but fortunately we've been using WordPress to build business websites, e-commerce websites, SaaS applications, community-driven sites, data-driven sites, and having a core theme that can bend and flex, but still look good and still have easy to use functionality, well, that's what we really need. And 2020 is not that far off. I mean, 2021, whatever that brings, uh, might be where we finally see that bridge uh, or that gap bridged but here's the thing, does that mean that it's the end of the 2020 fill in the year as we know it? In other words, if WordPress hits the perfect theme, do we need to re-release a theme every single year? It's sort of just like an ode to history in my mind, like we're always releasing a new theme. It doesn't always necessarily match up with like this big new experience in WordPress, although Gutenberg certainly is. It was already there a year ago. It doesn't 
really feel like it jives with feature release and front end design. I think in 2021, if we can solve this problem, then the WordPress theme is the WordPress theme. There's no more releases. Maybe there's some new templates that are released, or maybe there's the functionality of the front end matching up with some really great design. And again, I think that's where 2020 has done a fantastic job. I would have never even touched Gutenberg as far as I've gotten into it uh, today had it not been for Anders Noren's Chaplin theme, which I've talked about in other videos. I mean, combining great looking front end design with a builder that gets you kind of like 70, 80% there, well, that really made me think like, okay, this is the solution that WordPress is really aiming for, perhaps what Matt Mullenweg is really aiming for and those who are really contributing to the product or project, I should say. So 2020, it's a fantastic theme. I think if you're just getting started with WordPress at your first time and you want to be a blogger, you want to create content, people are telling you that content marketing is the jam these days and you should launch a blog for your brand or business, 2020 is fantastic. You can change some of the color schemes around to sort of match your branding or your logo. You can do a lot of styling uh, with long form content. If you look at my, page, my video about creating an agency uh, website, you can see that, hey, you could really apply that to any business, right? Any brand or business nonprofit who's looking to present themselves visually, have call to actions, have services page, product pages, I think it all works. If you're trying to get this to work in a F totally effortless, holistic view of WordPress, like I want an e-commerce store, I want a membership site, I want all of this stuff, well, it's just not there yet. There are some things that just don't work with this, with WooCommerce, which is kind of annoying. Like if we're trying to get that experience going, WooCommerce should definitely be on top of the radar. And that's just, you know, today's date, November something in the year 2019. I'm sure by the time we watch this video six months from now, a lot of those styling issues, template issues, support issues, backwards compatibility issues have probably been ironed out by now, especially if you're literally watching this in the year 2020. All in all, I've never really given a theme or a plugin, a point score, a review, but out of 10, out of a score from one to 10, I would give 2020 probably an 8.2 <laughs> if I were actually measuring out you know, a score, and I haven't really done that yet. Maybe that's something I'll do in the future. Again, it hits and checks off lots of uh, requests you know, that I would have great looking typography, easy to use. Will you pair it up with Gutenberg and just a couple other plugins like Coblox or your favorite, you know, fill in the blank with your favorite blocks uh, plugins. I think it works a treat and I think that you'll be pleasantly su surprised if you spend some time with it. One of the other interesting things which I didn't highlight in any of my other videos and I don't even really think it's really documented in 2020 which if I could just say for a moment as a side note, there really should be, and maybe this is an effort that'll happen in the community, there really should be a documentation page specifically for 2020, right? How do I build a certain recipe of sites to make a, an agency site, a small business site, a blogger site, a publisher site? I mean, those things should really be put in motion, really help the adoption of these core themes. But it does miss the mark on some of those other things like, well, some forms don't work right out of the box. There's some small little annoyances there. Of course, WooCommerce doesn't have all the templating stuff you know, in there that we really want. Uh, I'm sure if you went into building like a Lifter LMS or an LMS kind of solution, it's gonna miss a lot of the marks there. And that's on the plugin developers of these solutions and the theme itself. But I do look forward to how this theme matures and what Anders does with the team to make this a heck of a lot better. Uh, as time goes on. I'm just curious if we will see the end of the year date theme and having that as a big uh, component to feature releases of WordPress or is it just Gutenberg moving forward? I don't know. I think if you're on the fence of trying Gutenberg, this is definitely one that will do it. I still wholeheartedly say that Chaplin is a better theme. If I were to score Chaplin, 9.0 easily 9.0, maybe 9.5, though I haven't tested it with WooCommerce. I do know it has the styles, the support of other block plugins. It has the layouts that I'm looking for. It has the flexibility and also has the speed. 
Uh, not to say that 2020 doesn't yet, it just doesn't right now. Chaplin is hands down my favorite theme of 2019. So what do you think? Have you had the chance to really dive into 2020? After you've watched a bunch of my videos here, will you give 2020 a shot? Let me know in the comments below. We are wrapping up the year rather soon. It's gonna be 2020 before you know it. Not the theme of the year, it's gonna be 2020 before you know it. Do you have a favorite theme for this year? Let me know in the comments below. Like, What has really been working for you? Um, and let me know, are you like an agency developer or are you just like a creative person building something? If you're an agency, I would love to know like what framework, theme framework you're settling on uh, to sort of help me uh, shape that idea. It's PluginTut.com, PluginTut.com, slash subscribe to join that newsletter. Thumbs up if you like these videos, subscribe to the channel. Today is just a talking headpiece, no action of uh, a tutorial, but the WordPress 2020 theme, 8.2, maybe 8.5. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.